Hello everybody. Today I want to bring you a series of Panther car brochures. We got Ford, we got Mercury, we got of course the King, the Winkin Town car right there. And this video was made possible not by a sponsor, but by uh, a viewer and a subscriber of mine and a very good collaborator as well, Elvis Gonzalez. Uh, he does have a channel, uh, which I will link in the description, and he does own a Lincoln Town Car L. Um, I don't remember at this moment whether it's a signature or an executive L, but uh, he did send me some pictures, which I be displaying. So he obviously watched some of my videos. He likes the, the stuff, which I do appreciate. And I hope he keeps uh, liking them and, and the rest of you as well. And he was like, hey, you know, do you, do you want some of these brochures? He sent me a bunch of them. Uh, some of them were duplicates of the ones that I've already filmed and or, you know, will film very shortly. So I gracefully declined the duplicates. But then the other stuff uh, that I don't have, I was like, yeah, I would really appreciate if you sent to me. And, and he did. And I just received them literally, you know. I just received all of them. I don't believe I have any of them that are duplicates. So we're going to be spending some time looking at all of them. And yeah. Hope you like it. So we're going to start off with the Crown Victoria. None of them are huge brochures. Uh, there's a ton of Grand Marquis stuff. And then there is uh, some Crown Vic. Now, the thing is, you know, they don't change, obviously, from, from year to year, oh, you know, too much. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's interesting to see every once in a while there's a new photography or some, some kind of a new detail that uh, maybe was never seen before. So starting us off with this 04 Crown Victoria. Very nice looking. By the way, they're all in excellent shape too, so I really appreciate it uh, that you know I can show it to you and hopefully you like it as well. Right. So we got the 04 Crown Victoria. Nice to see that they that they got in you know quote unquote with the modern uh, modern times where they don't they didn't put the script they just put the 04 there. But uh, you can see right off the bat that, that some of this photography is reused time and time again. Not this one. I don't think I've ever seen this before. But but this one, yep, seen it, seen it a lot. There's a quiet confidence about the 2004 Crown Victoria classic design that uses long respected technology to carry on dearly held traditions. Wow, what a what a sentence! What a sentence! A legend just got better. All right. So here we go. Yep, some of this stuff is really, really nice and and reused quite a bit. But I've never seen this picture before. <laughs> a lot of us, uh, you know, depending on the age bracket, you know, we grew up uh, really being threatened by seeing this in our rearview mirrors. But and and it's in black too. So right, right there with the cop. So yeah, four point six liter uh, engine. Ford introduced the, the world's first production V8 in 1932. Okay. So with the dual exhaust, you get 239 horsepower. Okay. I mean, it's not a lot of horsepower, <laughs> granted. But, you know, it is, you know, for, for all intents and purposes, I'd rather have less horsepower and, and the engine be more reliable than have a lot of it and then have it blow up on you. Right. So, yeah, I do. You know, I've never seen these pictures before. So I'm glad that they took some some unique pictures here. I've never seen this one before either. And they're really pushing the, the LX. I mean, we're already more than uh, I, I think we're more than halfway done. And it's all talks about the LX, LX, LX. So obviously they want you to get the top of the line one or the sport, which is the, the, the black one. Yeah, the interior is all the same. All of these things are the same. So. All right, yep, some more unique pictures there. All right, the good old, good old fashioned digital day, uh, uh, dash. All right, yep, this has been reused, reused, reused. I am surprised that, you know, for the, for the sport, you know, you have the sporty shifter and all that stuff, but they don't have the tachometer, you know, that came in later. So, you know, you would think that for uh, for the sporty ones, they would put the tachometer from the get-go, but nope. You have the LX Sport with a nice shifter. Although I do prefer the column shifter. Like to me, this is not much sportier than this. And also this, you know, this little display. I, I like it. I like it. All right, some more new stuff that I've never seen before. Looks like people at a golf course. All right. 
Have cargo, will travel. Yeah, that's for sure. That is very true. All right, got the remote start. I've never seen a, any of the Panther cars with like a factory remote start. I don't know if any of you have it. Let me know. But I've never seen this before. Like I've seen plenty of aftermarket. And I have an aftermarket one on my town car too. But not the factory. All right, you have the Crown Victoria LX and LX Sport. So, and it's interesting how the, in this brochure, they, they don't even talk about the normal one. Like the, they don't talk about the base. There's not a single picture of the base either. So, all right. So they're showing all the different, yep. And then you have the, the single exhaust that robs you of a little horsepower of 15 horsepower. And then you have the other one that gives you, gives it back. All right. First one down. 05 also a pretty thin one all right nice and nice and red very good and here you have on top crown victoria lx and lx sport all right same stuff but here you know in 05 this is where we saw the transition to that new steering wheel design which i wish they kept all the little buttons but you still have the same interior same thing Loader room, okay, four golf bags. Yep, exactly the same. Still no tachometer. There you got the little LX Sport peaking. Bright ideas. Large gauges, bright and easy to read. LX Sport standard analog instrumentation will certainly appeal to the driver in you. Okay, just a basic speedometer <laughs> i don't think we need to talk about it too much all right reusing reusing from the one before okay so there you go once again very very thin stuff they didn't put too much emphasis on it here you go i think it's an even thinner one so 07 crown victoria um just <laughs> okay I, you know i i wonder uh keep in mind i'm not in golf so i don't know if this is uh some famous golfer or something um once again if you're playing golf you probably wouldn't put your car i don't care if it's a crown victoria or a mercedes or, or anything like that you probably don't want to put it on the golf course you you just don't so i don't get it <laughs> all right here we go again 07 Victoria, same exact picture, same shot. They didn't even, they didn't even want to put it from like this angle this way, you know, shooting the other way. Nope. And it does look like the trunk organizer looks a little different than on the town cars that I've seen at least. So it kind of, it has like multiple openings. I've never seen one like this before. They are rare, obviously. It's a lot of car for the money. That's for sure. All right, I think this one was reused before too. Sunroof, rare. Another shot. Why do they always shoot this way? Why not? Yeah, it's look. It's literal. It's four pages. So by that time, by by 07, they just have the Crown Victoria and LX, and then you have the the Sport was like a, a like an extra package, I guess, at that point. Yeah. So there you go. And that is it. All right. So at this point, I think I'm going to cut this video because, um, you know, I don't want to go, you know, for half an hour and then have a cut it unnatural. So we got 04, 05 and 07 Crown Victoria. Thank you so much, Elvis. Uh, you, everyone, uh, you know, check out his channel. He doesn't have a lot of it yet, but he does plan on uh, putting out some more uh, town car videos because he does own a town car. So uh, if you follow my channel, head out to his once again not a lot of content but click that subscribe button for him with a bell so when he does decide to post you guys will know it all right thank you everybody well, next video we'll look at the mercury and depending on how it goes we're going to look at the town car there thank you